Hello everyone and welcome back to another Diecast review. I know, I've been gone for like, since last Wednesday. Uh, school got in the way, you know, it's, but it's, it's school. You gotta take care of school first. School is important. You gotta pass, you gotta do whatever, something, I don't know. But you gotta, you, you gotta work on school, you know, school's more important. Uh, I just do this for fun, you know, so technically it's kind of like a game to me. You know, it's like if I want to get on the PlayStation or the computer, I'd have to get all my schoolwork done first, because that is more important. So then I can get out here and do this. Same with stop motion. Stop motion, uh, I've only got like two more laps. I know it's delayed, I'm sorry, but I'm going to work on that today and tomorrow. Hopefully get it finished and uploaded Wednesday. Maybe, I don't know. But today we have another Diecast review, and it is another 124 scale. That I also got from Martinsville, because as you guys know, uh, I got the Bowman from Martinsville, and I got this one from Martinsville. I got this one for my dad. This isn't this isn't for me. Like I've, I, th I said this before in a diecast talk. I don't, I don't know if like people get in that far into the video, but I think I was talking about some junior or something. It was like way in the video, like over halfway through. I don't know how many people watch like a lot of it, but I know some people watch like just a little bit. I don't know if they'll like I said. I don't know if they watch like all the way or most of it. But Dad and I share <coughs> share. A collection of 124s, right? So, so we both like one, right? And we will, or I will, I'll buy them and we'll just put them in our like little row here. We got like on the shelves and on the top of the like wall thing because it's, it's a building. You know, we got like the pillars and there's like gaps in the pillars and we'll put them there because they're not important. You know, we'll just like put them there. Well, they're important, but like, I mean, like the gaps are not really for anything other than support beams. They're just spaces in the supports. So we'll put them there and, you know, we'll have a good time. So it's kind of like a me and dad thing. He started it. He used to collect all kinds of stuff. Uh, I see like 10 he's had before that I didn't have. And then I kind of got into it myself. Uh, thanks to a friend of mine. You know who you are. Uh, he got me into this uh, more and more. Uh, parents started buying them uh, for me, and then I actually I got into uh, like Lionel because my friend showed me, and he showed me all his websites that you can get them on, and like the news and everything. And then I got into it full blown, and then now I'm buying so many, and wasting so many, much amount of dollars on just metal. So you know, metal that doesn't even look good half the time. But yeah, that's the whole like collection deal. Uh, I plan to get like four, or five more. Uh, let's see, I plan to get uh, Junior's Last Ride, race version, from Homestead. I plan to get Bowman's Xfinity win from last year. Was it last year? I don't know. It was somewhere. It was in the 42. But, let's see, I got those two. I got the real tree from uh, Austin Dillon. And I got, well, I'm going to get the 22 uh, Martinsville win. You, uh, I said before that I was going to purchase the race wins that I saw in real life. So I'm going to get that one too, and I'm probably going to get, uh, maybe, I don't know just yet, but I'm going to maybe get uh, the Homestead win from either the Homestead win or the Homestead, like, champion diecast from Mark Direction Year last year. So I don't know what I'm going to get of those, if, if I get any of them, actually. It just depends on where the money is right now, because I am still 15, or about to be 16. Don't have a job yet. A legitimate job. I do have YouTube. That is a legitimate job because I'm getting paid for it technically. But, I mean, I haven't like put in a payment method yet or whatever. But, I can make money from this and I will be making money from this. So, technically this is a job, but it's kind of like a side job right now. It's not my main thing. It's not like where most of my um, money comes from, which, I mean, it is. But, like, I've got, I still got chores because, like, you know, parents are like, hey, do this and I'll pay you for it. I'm like, okay, why not? But, even though I don't do it half the time, but you know, got all that coming in. I don't know where stuff's gonna be. I don't know when it's gonna be what, when I'm gonna get what. But I think this is enough rambling because I think we need to actually get into the review and stop talking about my income because I don't make like anything. But anyway, let's actually get on to the diecast itself. Uh, this is a 2016 Dylan Hart Jr. Uh, nationwide. Now, if you remember the 2016 season. Uh, if, you know, if you were, like, watching it or whatever. Uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr. Uh, suffered from a concussion, and then he had to have people fill in. Jeff Gordon was one of those people who filled in. 
Alex Bowman was also one of the people who filled in. There was three different drivers who drove this car. Junior, Gordon, and Bowman. So those kind of filled in for him. It was mainly Gordon. Gordon was the first person to take over. And uh, many people were happy that Gordon was back. I'm like, oh, okay, I guess he better do good. With all the wins he has, he better do good in this 88. Better get it done. I mean, he did. I don't remember if he did decent or not. But I know he didn't win anything. But I don't remember how he did. But anyway, yeah. So he suffered a concussion. He had those two people fill in. And it was all good. For like a little bit. And then he eventually came back in 2017. Uh, then he announced, well, he announced that 2017 would be his last season. Then, of course, he ran the final ride at Homestead. You know, uh, we had that happen. Matt Kenseth, he ran his final ride, too. Uh, Patrick was only... No, that was uh, 2018. My bad. I was going to say, Patrick was only there for Daytona, but that was this year, not last year. But they did that, and then Junior came back in 2018, this year, and he raced uh, at Richmond in the Hellman's uh, number 88 Xfinity thing, uh, in the Xfinity series uh, for Richmond. I'm pretty sure it was Richmond, anyway. But he ran the Hellman's. He actually did pretty good, so... Hopefully we may get to see him in 2019 for another one-off, like, race. Maybe, I don't know. Imagine if he won. Like, wouldn't that be insane? Like, come on, you couldn't have won in 2017. Which he wasn't really trying in 2017. You know, he just kind of raced and having fun. He wasn't really going hard at it. Talladega, he was a boss. He, like, moved and went through almost, like, every crash there was. He actually didn't crash, surprisingly. And I have that paint scheme. Well, not the paint scheme, but I have the win from Brad Kozlowski. Speaking of, this is the 2016 diecast, as I said. So, right now, in order, I had 2015, 16, 17, and 18. So, that will go in order on the shelf. But, actually, let's get into the box stuff. We are seven minutes in, still talking about the darn car, not, like, looking at it. That's actually kind of something. But, one thing about this box, uh, though Junior was left-handed, so, from the front, it's on the left. Now, if we get the other box, which I'm probably not going to, because... Well, for the review, I'll get the box. Hang on. So, this is a Talladega win that I was talking about from the 2017 Talladega race. If you look here, see, uh, that's on this side. That's on the other side. Uh, that's uh, left hand, right hand. Uh, Junior was left handed. Therefore, they put, uh, well, they moved, they switched it over to the left side. So, I thought that was pretty cool. You know, put a little detail into that. Anyway, back to the box. You got the front there. I got Dale Earnhardt Jr. Right here, uh, Hendrick, all that good stuff. I'm gonna move up a little bit. Got that, got Junior there. I uh, got this little thing for the corner. I don't know why that exists, but the fish dock has a NASCAR 124 scale stock car right there. Got that on the back 16 for uh, the year. And then we got the back here. I'm pretty sure I just showed you that, but anyway, let's actually go ahead and remove from the back because that's where the weak spot is, the weak point, and pull this out. I've already done. Like, unscrewed it and everything, so we don't have to worry about that. I've learned the hard way from the 2018. I'm like, oh, i got to unscrew this now. Well, 2017, actually. So, you know, that was fantastic. So, what I received from the actual box, or in the box, was this little uh, congratulations on your uh, purchase card thing. It's like a, I don't know, some card you get when you purchase something, I guess. I'll read on it a little bit later, but uh, that's a lie. I probably won't do that. But... Got to take a little bit of tape off. I kind of had to cut that it was like along the back here. Which is fine. You know, nothing wrong with that. And like I said, we uh, had to unscrew the die cast itself. You can see right there. We had to unscrew that. And take it out of the box. And I can move this box over here. So I do not have to deal with that anymore. And I can scoot it up and finally review this darn die cast. After nine minutes of me rambling. So out of the box, here's the die cast. <clears throat> All right, like I said, 124 scale. I uh, usually so I have suspension, have a little bit of rear or front suspension, and a good amount of rear suspension there. You know, not much, not much. And then you got nationwide right here on the hood. Uh, kind of hard to see. I'll raise you up just a little bit, put you down. And of course, where this is a 2016, we have the nameplate on the front and not the back. Like it, will, it don't have the Moss Energy because it was still Sprint Cup in 2016. It switched to 2017 for the Moss Energy Cup series. But anyway. Right here on the hood, we have 88 and nationwide. Uh, DIN number, what's DIN number? 75, alright. Because apparently the last two numbers matter. Uh, nationwide is on your side right there on the deck lid and inside the deck lid. 
We have a little bit of detail, you know, not bad. Not bad detail. You know, just something. Uh, nationwide is on your side right there on the back. 88 uh, Valvoline, Val Valvoline, however you say it. Once again, because I know people say it different ways. But down the side we have Nationwide, Alex Alta, uh, Mountain Dew, 88 once again. I uh, got the Sprint logo. Let's go ahead and look at that. I got the Coors Light Pole uh, logo right there. Uh, Dura Last Brakes, Flymaster, all kinds of stuff. Got NASCAR race car. I got a Junior, Alex Alta, Hendrick, Mac Tools, Tax Slayer, you know, all that good stuff there. Let's see on the front, let's actually like look at the hood detail. Actually, before that, this thing has posable wheels. And you can kind of see me moving it right there. But once you, like, if you look at the wheel, uh, let's see here. Let's see if we can get a, there you go, you can kind of see right there, right here. Right there, look. When you turn the wheel, or the wheels, steering wheel moves. You know, it's just the detail. The details is what's cool about stuff like this. You know, like I said, it's, you can still see right there, turning the wheels and the wheel uh, steering wheel moves. So that is pretty cool. I wish they still did that, but they don't. Or at least on the Delete. I don't know if they do it on the ARC for the 124s, but if they don't do it on that, I'm assuming they don't do it on the 124, the normal ones. Because Elite has everything, apparently. But it has working uh, roof flaps. You can see this here, if we can get that. Working roof flaps, right there, you can see, they open. Uh, mesh net, right there, a little like hardish plastic, or hardish like rubber right there. And then the hood's gonna be a pain, so we gotta find something to open that with. Alright, I got a marker here. Mark, you gonna help me out on this one, or are you just gonna be like, nope, not doing that? Let's see here, oh, there we go, gotcha, gotcha. So right here, I got the hood open. So we can lay it down right there. See the engine detail. Right there, kind of hard to. There you go. A little bit better. Then if you look actually underneath, you can see. Got some logos right there. Got Nationwide, Mountain Dew, Chevy, Kelly Blue Book. All that good stuff right there. It's actually a pretty good picture. I'm not even gonna gonna lie. I'm just gonna snap a picture of that real quick. Bam! There you go. All right. Actually, I think that's going to be it for this review. I know i got a barking dog in the background. But you know what? It's all good. I live with like 95,000. But anyway, pretty sure uh, that's going to be it. There's not really much else to talk about. Uh, 2017 was a good year for the Elites because of the uh, tethers. 2016, you know, not... I don't remember what was on the 2016s because I didn't really have a 2016 Elite. This is the standard version. Uh, not bad. I don't know what else you really add other than like more detail. I don't know if the 2016 had the tethers or the... Yeah, the tethers are not. I know 2017 did, but I don't know about 2016. But anyway, that is going to wrap it up for this review. Hope you all enjoyed it, and I will see you all in the next video. Cloud troll.